Hello, my name is Elisa Pierce, product owner of Daylight Surfliners Brennan Solution. Today we are demoing our work completed in Sprint 4 of our 2024 work cycle, our summer 2024 work cycle. We're going to kick off with the daylight demos and then close with some comment demos. I am very pleased with our progress with daylight. So a big thank you to David Trujillo and Margaret Kibi for their great work. Highlights included uh, working out the ability to nest components within themselves and allow for multiple pages along with the several components that were developed. Well, let me show you. So showing first is our, and let me move some Zoom windows, um, is our results item component. And so we also have our search history component. We have a pagination component now, a previous next component, a sort component, and an objects metadata component. So previously I showed you that this, uh, those components come together to form pages. So this is a prototype of a home page. And now we have a prototype for a search result page. And we have some functionality working. And we have the beginnings of an object prototype page. Um, so that uh, is a very quick review of what we've done in daylight. And so now I'm gonna kick it over to Margaret uh, for some comment demo. Thanks, Lisa. I will share my screen. Um, do, do, do. Here's comment. This is comment staging. Uh, there are a couple of things that I want to demo today. Um, some of this is stuff that we touched on earlier and some of it isn't. Um, to start with the stuff we did touch on um, previously, previously I demoed that we'd added the functionality for collections to have metadata, um, but when I demoed it last time it was a little bit buggy. Um, it, if you created a collection, and I'm going to do that now, collection... Um, nine, ten, sure. Um, if you created a collection, you filled out some metadata here, it wouldn't save when it was creating the collection. It would only save if you went back in and edited. Um, we've now fixed that um, so that when you create the collection, you can fill out this metadata and it works like expected. Um, one other small thing to call, call out is that it used to be that it would let you enter multiple titles. That's not supported. Um, you can only have one title, uh, so we've removed the the button that was um, letting you add another title. So we have lots of metadata. I'm going to go ahead and save that. Um, and now if we go into that collection that I just created, the other thing we did is we got that metadata to actually display on this page. Um, so now um, it shows... Um, the value that I entered there. Um, this is just a, a very basic metadata display. We can always um, refine it, but um, this uh, gives you um, a picture of, of what metadata is on that collection without having to go back into the edit collection, which is what you used to have to do um, before we'd added that functionality. Uh, the other thing I want to show um, that is a piece of work that was done this sprint um, is we've added the ability to publish things in bulk. Um, so you'll see if I select these checkboxes for these two objects that I have in here, um, a publish button appears. And these are all of the different discovery platforms that are supported. We have Daylight, Shoreline, Tidewater. I can click one. It'll ask a confirmation. Um, and then it does a publish request to publish them. Um, now that some of them are published, there's also an unpublished button you can click. I'll do that in a moment. Um, and then you can also see it has been published. There's a discovery link here. 
um, pointing to Tidewater. Um, so the the idea behind this is we've had some discussions about how the best way um, to handle uh, pub publishing items in bulk, whether we do it by collection, how we want to do it. But one thing I want to call out here is we have this workflow status button. Um, we've been doing work on this to get this working well. Um, there's some um, work that's currently in the pipeline to get this even better. Um, you'll see that right now this is under review instead of in review. It doesn't quite match up exactly. Um, and there's some work to, to refine that. But you can go, you can pick a certain workflow status. You can go, um, you can pick a certain project. You can say, okay, show me all of the things that are under review in the default project. Um, and then you can just go down and select some of them. You can click here, select all of them and publish or unpublish them accordingly. Um, so we're hoping that that makes it a lot easier to manage um, items in bulk. And when you have a lot of a lot of things in a workflow, you don't have to go through and click each one individually. Um, you can just use these filters and then select them all. And you know if there's one object that you don't want to, you can easily unselect it um, and manage your publishing and unpublishing that way. So I think that's all I have to share, but those are both two exciting developments. Um, and yeah, that was Comet. Very cool. Thank you very much. And we will see everybody in next fall. Awesome. Or this fall. Thank you.